Before I get started, I thought some of you might find this interesting. All right, so what I'm about to do, kind of takes a couple hands to do this. So I already attached my tire deflator. You can see it's an ARB tire deflator. It's a good one. I'm sure other brands make good ones too. But uh, you screw this on, you take your valve cap off, valve cap, screw this on tight, have this in forward, and then push this in and turn it, and it will lock onto the valve stem. And then you unscrew it a bunch, pull it out. I don't think I got it enough. So put it back in. And try it again. Probably need another. Alright, so now as you can see, it's coming down. It was at it was at 42. Now I'm at 37. So, driving in this deep snow, I don't want to get stuck, and so I'm going to drop it down to about 16 PSI. Alright, so we're at 28. I'll just set this up here so I can read it. Down to 22. Alright, so then I just push this in, get it to engage with the with the valve stem, and tighten up the valve stem, and then unscrew this and put the cap back on. And you can see it really didn't take all that long. It's not like I'm wasting a bunch of time, you know, having to do this. And you are a lot safer when you have better traction. And that's going down hills and up hills. I don't know if you can see inside there, but you can see how it grabs onto that. So anyway, I'm going to go do the rest of these tires and we'll get back to the trail.